Alarming water levels are a concern in Nevada as Hoover Dam and Lake Mead record historical lows. To tell us more, Eagle News correspondent Lori Jarvina is with us tonight. Lori? Thank you, Anna. And greetings to all our viewers in America and abroad. I hope everyone is staying safe. And if you have extreme heat like here in Las Vegas, I hope you're staying nice and cool. The recent extreme weather is definitely one of the contributing factors causing the Hoover Dam and Lake Mead water levels to reach historical lows. The Hoover Dam and Lake Mead span the Nevada, Arizona state line and are located about 35 miles southeast of Las Vegas in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River. The Hoover Dam is a concrete thick arch structure, 726.4 feet high and 1,244 feet long. The dam contains 3.25 million cubic yards of concrete. Total concrete in the dam and adjacent structures is 4.4 million cubic yards. On the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation website, it states that the Hoover Dam is a testimony to a country's ability to construct monolithic projects in the midst of adverse conditions. Built during the Depression, thousands of men and their families came to Black Canyon to tame the Colorado River. It took less than five years in a harsh and barren land to build the largest dam of its time. Now, years later, Hoover Dam still stands as a world-renowned structure. The dam is a National Historic Landmark and has been rated by the American Society of Civil Engineers as one of America's seven modern civil engineering wonders. Completed in 1936, Hoover Dam was built to provide irrigation water and hydroelectric power and to control seasonal flooding of the Colorado River, which made downstream settlement possible. But due to intense summer heat and the drought crisis plaguing the Western United States, reservoir water levels are drastically dropping and affecting the water supply. Lake Mead, which was created by the Hoover Dam near Las Vegas, is a nation's largest reservoir, and it is at its lowest level since the lake filled after the construction of the Hoover Dam in the 1930s. As of July 11, mead.uslakes.info reports that the Lake Mead water level is currently at 1,068 feet above sea level, or 35% of its total capacity, 161 feet below full pool capacity of 1,229 feet. As the chart shows, just since March of this year, the level has dropped 20 feet, and as compared to the same time last year, it is down 16 feet. Lake Mead supplies water to Arizona, Nevada, California, and Mexico. Lake Mead is only one of several reservoirs in Nevada and California on track for potential record lows this summer, possibly jeopardizing some of these reservoirs' ability to generate hydroelectric power. The combination of human causes and intensified climate warming over the past 20 years have some calling it now a mega drought and questioning when and if the drought is going to end. Today's forecast is sunny and clear with the National Weather Service issuing an excessive heat warning. Today's high is 115 degrees Fahrenheit or 46 degrees Celsius. In Las Vegas, Nevada, Lori Jarvina, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you, Anna. Thank you, Lori, for your report. I know it's, it's really hot today, right? We're hoping that excessive heat warning will well, they said it's good up to tomorrow night, so we can't wait for that. Now, you talked about um, conserving drought and the importance of conserving water. What's being done in uh, Las Vegas uh, to do that? Well, here in Las Vegas, um, actually, there is a water conservation effort by the Las uh, Vegas Valley Water District, and they actually do patrols around and check on neighborhoods and um, installations where they may be uh, wasting water and they will cite and um, give citations for that. So it's interesting though in Las Vegas that a lot of the water is actually recycled. Um, so it's interesting to know that you know in the resorts areas too that a lot of that water that is being used is being recycled. So Las Vegas is doing its part uh, to conserve water. Anna? Yes, also I think, believe most car washes also have that recycling process. So that's good to know, right? And I know like if only each of us will do our part, each household um, do our part in conserving water, Every, if, if everyone did that, that would be a huge help, right? So what are some of the things uh, that you do, you and your family, Lori? 
That is a great point if we all did our part, Anna. So every drop counts. Um, so at least, you know, the little things, if we can make them into daily habits, like, uh, for example, I used to wash dishes by hand, but we just got in the habit of using a dishwasher. So we kind of make sure that the dishwasher is full up before we use it. Um, so that saves water there. Uh, also, like you mentioned, the car washes, that's something I wasn't really even considering before. But now um, to take it one step further, just don't wash your car if uh, <laughs> you can stand it. And so, but yes, the car wash, recycling the water there. Um, you know, just every little thing we can do to conserve water. We live here in the desert um, and we're affected by it directly, um, but also to help the neighboring states that depend on, you know, all the water that is being used um, from Lake Mead. Anna? Yes, yes, Lori. Well, thank you so much for that update and stick around for our round table. Uh, we'll talk about how a, a smile can cheer up somebody who's who's feeling lonely. We'll, we'll talk to you in a little bit.